Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. So I'm doing a follow up to my live stream today on the Let's Get Wired episode. We made these aliens and rockets and spaceships. And so to follow up, I'm going to do an alien ring because we ran out of time. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools, a ring cone. I'm using 18 gauge wire and um, 20 gauge wire. I have 24 gauge black wire and some four and uh, four and six millimeter black beads. So for the first one, I'm just gonna take a 20 gauge piece of wire. It's about six inches long. And I just wanna start forming the head. So what I'm going to do is just start with the chin. So we're just gonna bend that up. And then we want to do the eyes. You don't have to do the mouth. If you do want to do a mouth, you can sort of do a bend inside, but I don't think it's necessary. So we're just going to do the eyes for now. So we're just going to take this wire and bend it down. And if you want a sharper bend, just get your flat pliers and give it a bend down. And then we're just going to make sure it's down on a slant. It's going to look more like an alien if it's like that. And then bring it down and then to bend it up, Use your flat pliers and same thing. Give it a good like sharp bend and it's going to work its way up. So we're going to bend it up like that. So they look almost like little squinty eyes. And then we're just going to bring this up and then you want to get it in the same position on this side. So we're just going to go here. You can kind of measure it on your pliers if you need. It's always you, something you could always do is just give it a little bit of bend, compare it, and then adjust it to do your final bend. And then we're going to, same thing, have it on an angle, bring it down, and then bend it up with the flat pliers. So give it a good, sharp bend. That might not have been long enough, so if you need it longer, just pull it out a bit and push it in. And then this one, bring it up here. Okay, and then what we want to do is form the head. So we're just going to hold the wire here, bring it around to make it like a good alien size head around here, bring it around there. And it's sort of like already looking like an alien. So then what we can do is just bend that one to an angle at the side, just bend it out and then hold that here and then just give it a little bit of a turn just there just bend it there perfect so that looks like an alien and then we can just bring this around this is going to be a delicate ring because it's 20 gauge wire so you could try it with a thicker wire as well so we'll just bring it in there and then we'll just stick it above the eye could probably almost stick it in the eye but I don't want to ruin the eye so we're just going to stick it here and then bring it back. This is just a very simple design. I'm going to try a couple of other ones as well. I'm going to cut that here, there and pinch that back. So there we have a very super simple alien ring. A different way to do it is just to take your six inches of wire and we're going to bend that up at an angle. And now if you want to do a sort of a mouth thing, you could definitely like just take this, bend it across here and then down and then up underneath. And it just kind of looks like a little line across to kind of represent the mouth. So that's just an option that you can do. You could always maybe add another wire after. And so we're just going to bring this one out here. And then what I want to do is just do like a little circle where we can add a bead for the eyes. I'm just going to do like a little loop here. Okay, just a little tiny loop. And I'm actually going to cut this loop. So we're just going to cut that flush. We just want to cut it flush and you don't want it to be very big because we're going to slide a wire through there and I actually haven't done this yet. This is I'm just working on the fly like I do on my live streams and if it doesn't work I will delete this video and try something else. So we're just going to bring this around here 
make sure those circles are more or less in the same place. It looks really weird right now, but I have an idea, so we'll see if it's gonna work. So we're gonna go like that, and then we're going to bring this around to make like kind of a big alien head. Now I might have done these too high up, but we're gonna see. So I'm just bending this around. You could get a round form if you want like a better, easier uh, curve on there. So we're just gonna bring that here. And when you're happy with the, the shape of it, might be a little big for a ring, but that's okay. And then we just wanna do another loop here to line up with that loop and you're gonna see why. So we're just gonna bend that around here, pull it a little tight. You just need it big enough for a 24 gauge wire to go through and we're going to trim it so it's flush. So we've got that. Looks a little odd, but this is the basic shape. A piece of 24 gauge wire. This is just a black 24 gauge wire. So I just stuck a four millimeter bead on there. And what I want to do is sort of a, like a herringbone type thing. So I'm just going to take another piece of wire and then bend it like around, kind of around here. And then we're going to like sound, surround it around to here. And then just make sure this is like right around and then bring it back down here. So just down here. And we're just going to use the same concept as the herringbone to make it a little more kind of an oval type thing. So we're gonna bring this one back. And I'm really just playing around with this. We'll see how it goes. So if we've just been one, two, one, two. So we should go around the same amount of times. Bring that around here. And then we're just going to clip that. So we'll just clip that off and then hide that little end underneath. So we have one here and then we're going to use put the other four millimeter bead on there. So we're just going to stick the other four millimeter bead here. So I'm actually just going to clip this other wire here and we're going to do the, the herringbone one on this side. So we're just going to wind it around Hold that in place, wind it around, up, and then over the bead here. Okay, and then this one, we can actually bring it to the back. Actually, we could just cut it. We'll just bring it here and cut it flush. So that'll be hidden underneath. So the little end isn't gonna be showing. Your pliers won't fit, just use your fingernails. And then we're going to hold this and we're going to go around it twice so that's once on one side once on this side bring it to there back and then one more time back here so now we have two little eyeballs just floating around this wire so we'll see what we can do with that so we'll clip that off i might have to make the ring bigger if this isn't going to fit but that's the idea so they're like two little eyeballs, kind of fun. Push them together and okay, make sure these are like pushed together and make sure that the same size up like that. And then what you're gonna do is just bend this on an angle. Wow, these are cool. So we're gonna bend them up like that. And then I think it's not gonna fit in there anymore. So we're gonna see, oh wow, this is super cool. So I think I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger so it's cool though look at that so let's get the 18 gauge wire so we'll get the 18 gauge and cut a piece here and then we are going to form the ring so what we want to do is take our round pliers and bend this up and i think i'm going to do the same thing where i make like a little suggestion of a mouth but like really just little so and it needs to be near the chin that seems to be how the aliens go so we're going to go like that not that i've ever seen an alien but i imagine that's how they look just from pictures and google so we're going to go there and bring that one up so there's the beginning of it and then what we want to do imagine like how big we need to make it now that mouth's a little odd now but Mm, it's interesting. So what we want to do is we want to make some little 
loops for that. Let me just imagine what we're doing. Mm, okay, I am going to actually take this, make a loop to the outside. Okay, we're just going to do a little loop to the outside here. Let me just see how that's going to go. Because this is going to hold the ring. So we're going to go like this, do a little loop to the outside. Okay, bring that around and then bring this one all the way around. It's going to be a big ring. It's all good. So we're going to bring this one around here. And then this side where that loop is, we're just going to bend it out. So we're just going to bend it out on an angle here. And then this can go on top. So we're going to bring that one on top. Make sure the eyes are going to fit on there. Pretty cool. So let's make it a little bit wider. Bring that one around. I think that head should maybe be a little bit wider. I think so, eh? Yeah, that's, they've got big heads, aliens. So as long as it's going to fit on your finger. And then we're going to take this one and just give it a little bend around. So we're just going to bend that, clip it, bend that here, and then let's attach. We'll make the ring part. So we're going to bring it around here. That's going to go through there. So clip that where you have to. Bring that up and in. Hold it down. Bring this around here. Clip it. Go like that. Clip it down. So that's, you know, it looks a little lopsided, but that's just one way to get it attached. So it looks like the ring, and then we can just like stick the eyes on there. You can just twist them on like that. So to make the head, I'm just going to use the 18 gauge wire and bend it a little to one side. And then what we want to do is imagine where the eyes are going to go and we're going to just make a little tiny loop here. Okay, just a teeny little loop. And then imagine this 24 gauge ha wire has to fit through there. So you can pull it tighter. It doesn't have to be that big as long as the 24 gauge wire is going to fit in there and now we're going to form our uh, head but what we can do on this side is make another loop in the same position as that one and same thing it doesn't have to be very big so we're just going to pull it in there and then clip that to be the right uh, size just flush with that and then now we're going to form like this round part. You can use a round form if you need to form that. Bring it around and just keep checking it with your eyes. If you're using plain like oval beads, uh, just compare them to make sure they're going to fit. So that's kind of cool. And then what you need to do here is make another loop to line up with that one. So just put your pliers here, start forming your loop. Same thing, start it and then just pull it so as far as you can, so as long as the 24 gauge wire is still gonna fit through there. So we're just gonna take this, clip it, wee, there we go, and then close that up like that. And then these two loops have to line up. So we're just gonna line those up here. And then what we need next, see it's it might need some adjustment, the the head like if it's if it's not super even but that's probably something you can also do after we're going to take another 18 gauge wire and just make the band so we're going to bring this around here and we want to imagine like this is going to go sort of in between so start by taking one side this is the same pattern as my rings to make and sell video so it's where you make the f kind of frame of the ring out of 18 gauge wire and then you could pretty well put anything in between it's a great design it's uh, very classic and you can do a lot with it so definitely i'll link up that video below as well so now you just want to see like how big you have to make it so then we know we're going to have to like bend it around here bend it out this might end up being really big but you get a feel for it as you make more of these. So now we're going to do this loop here like that. 
Okay, so we gotta do like that. This was a very popular design in the 90s when I was selling jewelry on the streets of Montreal. All the vendors were making this design with the um, with the kind of the band with the loops and then sticking a bead in between. So you see you could add almost anything to that. And then what we're gonna do, this is gonna be tricky. We are gonna take the eyeballs. We can trim them a little bit. So we'll just trim these like that. So we're going to take our um, band plus eyeballs plus head equals ring. So we're going to take this one and bend these down. Okay, so we're going to bend these at a right angle. And now we're going to stick it in these holes. So that one and that one. So we've got them sticking in there. So already it's looking super cool. And then we are going to take this one and stick it into this band here so actually we should, let's tighten it up a little bit so take this here pull it out okay just pull it out here and this one here bring it here and pull it out okay so we've got this and you'll see you might have to do some adjustments with the design but this is just going to give you a basic idea of how this could work so we're going to stick that here and now we're going to stick this one through here and then stick this one through here. So you've got it starting to be attached to the band and then snugly, you wanna hold it quite snugly, we're gonna bring it through here and you can actually like pull it right over top if you want or a little to the side. So let's try to put it like right over top of that and then we're just going to wind this around a few times. So we're gonna one, two, three to get it really solid okay and then we're going to clip that one and then this side same thing it's like over top of that one and one this is a really cool design i'm very happy with it so i'm going to three and there we go so this is super funky it still needs a little bit of adjustment but what you can do for that is stick it on the ring cone i think if i made it again i would make the top of the head a little bit uh, smaller um they seem to be a little bit low down the eyes but that's okay you can always adjust it and you can like pinch it in if you want you can round this out if you want there's a lot you can do with it but this is at least just gives you sort of a basic idea make it more cone shape of what you can do so just like play around with it like I said if you have oval beads and you don't have to do this herringbone thing it's fine but I kind of like the way it looks it's super cool so if you put it on your finger there's your funky little alien ring so I'm going to try another one with the 18 gauge wire. We're just going to bring this one up here and then we're going to just try to form our like pointy eyes there. So we're just going to bring that one down and down and bring this one, get the flat pliers and bring it up and up. And then what I want to do here is I'm actually going to make a loop here. So we're going to make the loop here around here bring this around and okay, just bring this right around to the front and form the head so we're going to just bring it around bring it around here to where we want the head to be and then we're going to just take these pliers again and bend it down for the eye so we're just going to imagine where you want it to be bend it down and then down you can adjust this a bit after take the flat pliers bend it up and then let's go back to the round pliers bend it down so that just forms the eye so try to make them more or less the same size if you need it more pointy just get your flat pliers and give it a more of a, a point there and then when you have them looking more or less the same size we're going to bend this wire out. So take this, bend it out sort of at a angle there. And then you want to like wrap that one around here. So we're going to take that and looks good. Just give it a good wrap around here. 
cut that flush. And then, bend that one in. There's many different ways you can do this. Uh, you probably were going to figure out your own way as well, but these are just a few options that you can play with. So we're going to bring that one around here and then stick that wire through here. Okay, we'll just stick that one through here and then pull it again. Put it to the size you want and then just bring that back. Okay, so we'll bring that one back here. Give it a little clip and then just bring that in like that. Push it down and there you have your little alien. So it's just got a little loop to the side there and this one has a little end there but it's very hard to get it perfectly symmetrical because you have to finish the ends somehow but this is kind of cool. I kind of like it and then if you need to adjust the eyes so they're more at the same level just bring your pliers in and push them in a little bit and then they'll get a match up. So that's another option for your alien. Stick them on that one. Perfect. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.